Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a reflection in Adobe After Effects. The reflection is this right down here and then kind of actually the combination of everything back here to make it look like it's reflecting on an artificial surface right here. What's important here is that we're blurring it, we're creating a little bit of a lead in, we're lowering the opacity and making it look like it would happen in the real world. So let's get started. Let's open up a new comp and then we're just gonna create a new solid, make it a white solid so that we have a background to work with. And then we're just gonna drag in our footage, our text, anything you want, because this works with really anything. Oops, not the other comp, we want the, the footage itself. So this is my footage. I'm gonna go ahead and click this and then drag it on down to a different size. Let's make it this size right here. And then the next step is we're going to duplicate it. To duplicate it, just hit Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac, and now you have two of the exact same layers. If you're gonna be adding any effects or any changes to one of them, make sure you do them before you duplicate them because you want all of those effects to be in the duplicated footage. So actually, let's go Control Z this. We're gonna go ahead and just hit a layer style. We're gonna add a little drop shadow, makes it look a little bit cooler. Then we're gonna duplicate it. So now we have that this one right here is our bottom one and our top one. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. We're going to click S to go to the scale and then we're gonna make these 3D objects. The reason for that is that you can actually um, rotate them using 3D things. So it'll rotate around an axis instead of trying to manipulate that in 2D space. It creates that effect that I was doing last time where it kind of rotates around like that. It also helps if you're using a camera and you're trying to do sort of 3D stuff with this. This is a very 3D sort of effect, so it'll help a lot with that too. So what we wanna do is we want to go back here, go into the scale here. You can click on this, you can drop down the menu and then click, or you can just click S. So yeah, you can just click S or you can drop down the menu, whichever one. Scale, we're gonna uncheck this box, and then in the middle, this is our Y, we're going to do negative 32.6. And then now our footage, this one is upside down. You can see because the arrow is pointing down. And then now we're gonna actually go into here. We're gonna go into position and we're gonna grab the Y and bring it down like that. The reason we're not just grabbing it and dragging it is because we could accidentally skew left or right and we want this to be a perfect reflection down. So yeah, get it uh, the farther down, the, the farther distance it's going to be from the surface. We're gonna go right about here. Next step is to do the opacity. You can adjust it right here or you can just click T and opacity will, will be right here. Let's go 50% for right now, but we can adjust that later on. So then, the next thing we wanna do is that we want to actually make this look like it's kind of feathering away into the distance. So to do that, we're gonna go into effects and presets and we're going to go into linear wipe, linear wipe right here. Click that, drag it onto the bottom footage. And then our feather is gonna be like really, really intense here. We're gonna set this to 180 and then you'll see what it does here, whoops, or zero. It actually is going to feather away the beginning a little bit. And this is actually kind of important because due to its height, it would kind of do that. It would be more focused near the center. And it also, it also works better with the way we're going to be doing it. Sometimes you can feather the bottom. It really depends on, I guess, which is closer and which would be clear in real life. There's sort of a inverse, I guess, function on that kind of manipulate it, go from either end and see which one looks a little bit more realistic. So yeah, we're just gonna do that feather right here, maybe even bring it up to like something like 500%, increase this up a little bit. Right now that looks fine for what we want to accomplish. The next step is gonna go into white solid and we're going to go down into ramp, which is now called gradient ramp. I don't know when they updated that, might've been a while ago, but when I started using After Effects, it was just ramp back in my day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into ramp. We're gonna make it start color white. Click OK. In color is going to be any color you want, really. Um, for this sort of clean look with the granite marble stuff, we're gonna go with the gray. So maybe right, ar right around the 150s right here. Click OK. And now let's see, we're gonna click this. We're gonna drag it on down. Hold shift to make sure that it, it, it can not go left or right, that it goes straight on a line. Bring that down a little bit. Bring this one up a little bit. And now we sort of have ourselves a, a floor going. It's starting right here. So yeah, we got the floor going. And let's go into the next step, which is going to actually be to add in our floor. 
So we're going to click, um, this is just a piece of footage I found offline, an asset I found offline, just a granite sort of, I don't know, flooring. Um, you can look up any really flooring you want. You can go with, I don't know if wood would reflect it, but it maybe a polished wood would be. Wood would be. Okay, anyway, we're going to click on this and we're going to go and make it 3D. Go up here to the rotation tool, which is W on your keyboard. We're going to rotate this back. And then this is kind of just going with the eye, like, what do you th what's your horizon going to be here? Let's make it there. That kind of looks like a good horizon. We're going to drag it into the center where we want. Click on the edge, hold shift, and drag it out real big. And then we can lower it down to kind of put it back where we want. And then expand out the edges real quick so that it fills up the entire screen. And then the next step is going to be to actually lower its opacity a little bit. Whoops. Uh, and drop it beneath the footage. So now it's reflecting on that. And we're going to take it. We're going to lower its opacity a tad bit. Now we're kind of getting it. Now, the last step really is to make this kind of go into the distance because it just stops. We kind of want this like white fog there. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did to the footage here. And we're going to go linear ramp, linear wipe. And we're going to click that and drag it onto here. And then we're going to go into transition and do exactly what we did here. Um, put it down to zero, feather it up real big here. Start the transition. Understand that it needs to be 180. And there we go. So let's see, let's bring this back a little bit. We want it just to disappear. We want the imagination to kick in and think that this actually goes on into the distance. Just like that. Now it looks like there's a white fog or something in front of it and that this could go on for miles. And there you go. Now um, the last step that we did that I forgot actually earlier, and you can kind of notice it right here, is we need a blur on this, this down here. Because when it hits... When the footage or anything in real life hits a object like this, it's going to blur. So what we need to do, what you used to be able to do is just use fast blur, and you can still use that. It's just obsoleted now. Um, they broke it into a bunch of different blurs. It gives you a lot more control. We can still use a fast blur, though. I, however, just going to go with a camera lens blur on this. We're going to go up to maybe like 8. And yeah, now it's a little bit blurrier. And then let's go and... I think it needs just a little bit less opacity, maybe like 30%. And yep, I think that looks a lot better. And there you have it. Just like that, you can see that we have created a beautiful little reflection. Oops, audio is on there. Uh, a beautiful reflection here that you can really do anything with this. Um, if you wanted to have this rotate before you duplicate it, you could just rotate it. If you want to put text here, you can do the exact same thing, reflect it. You could put people dancing here and then reflect them on the bottom. All in all, though, that is really the basics of the effect. Just a bunch of different blurs and radial wipes. And then there you have it, how to reflect something in After Effects. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for this tutorial. If you have any questions or even comments or like maybe suggestions for me, go ahead and put those in the comments below. If you want to see more Adobe-related stuff, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.